Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a listening exercise and the subject is dentists. So let's start. Well, the lesson will start with some vocabulary. You will learn some new words which are important. Then I will give you the questions that I would like you to answer. And then you will listen to the article and the subject of the article is dentists and you will answer the questions. Finally, I will give you the correct answers to those questions and you will listen to the article one last time with the transcript on the screen. Okay? So let's start. Vocabulary. The first word is island. This is a noun and this is the IPA pronunciation. So listen very carefully to the pronunciation. There is no S sound. Okay, so we do not hear the S sound. Island. Island. And the meaning is it is a mass of land which is completely surrounded by water. Okay, so it is some land and around the land there is water. And here is an example. Madagascar is an island. Okay, so this is the mass of land and it is surrounded by water. Okay, the next word is appointment. Appointment. This is a noun. And here is the IPA transcript. Appointment. The meaning is it is an arrangement to meet somebody at a specific time and place. Okay, so it is a plan to meet somebody at a specific time and place. Here is an example. I would like to make an appointment with Dr. Jones, please. Okay, so notice the expression. When we want to organize an appointment with somebody, we say make an appointment. Okay, to make an appointment with somebody. Okay, and we often use appointment for doctors or hairdressers. Okay. The next word is part time. This is either an adjective or an adverb. Part time. And here we are using it as an adjective. And the meaning is, well, a part-time job is a job where you own, only work for a few hours per week. Well, the meaning is, a part-time job is a job where you only work for a few hours per week. Okay, so you do not work for a complete week. You only work part of the time. That is why it is called part-time. Example. Mark is a part-time chef. He only works on weekends. And a similar word is part... sorry, a similar word is full-time. Again, this is an adjective or an adverb. Full time. And here we are using it again as an adjective. And the meaning is well, a full time job is a job where you work the maximum number of hours per week. Okay, so this is like a normal, a normal job is a full time job where you work perhaps every day or at least Monday to Friday. Example, 
Jane is a full-time secretary. Jane is a full-time secretary. Okay? Questions. Question 1. How long must the residents wait for an appointment with a dentist? Question 2. Why is there this wait? Question 3. What happened to the other dentist? Question 4. Who does the dentist give priority to? And the last question, question 5. How do people travel to the town of Tarbert? Okay, so those are the questions that I would like you to answer. You are now going to listen to the article and then you will answer the questions. Okay, so I'm going to play it for you now. Residents of the islands of Islay and Jura in Scotland have been told they must wait a year to have an appointment with a dentist. This long wait is because there is only one part-time dentist for both islands. Previously there was also a full-time dentist, but he retired a year ago. The remaining dentist cannot treat everybody and gives priority to children and people in pain. The National Health Service is struggling to recruit a new dentist because of the poor state of dental facilities. The dental practice is in a portable cabin in the hospital car park and patients wait for their appointments outside in their cars. To solve the problem, the National Health Service is considering moving the practice into the hospital building. Residents who don't want to wait a year for a checkup get a ferry to the town of Tarbert. Okay. So that is the end of the listening, okay? If you need more time, if you would like to listen to that again, then click here on the screen and you can go back. Or simply just wait a few seconds and I will give you the answers. Okay. We'll carry on now for the answers. So question one, I asked you, how long must the residents wait for an appointment with a dentist? Well, the answer is a year. They have to wait a year. Question two, I asked, why is there this wait? Well, the answer is, there is only one part-time dentist for both islands. Okay. Question three, what happened to the other dentist? Well, he retired a year ago. And question four, who does the dentist give priority to? Well, the answer is to children and people in pain. People in pain. Okay. And question five, how do people travel to the town of Tarbert? They get a ferry. Okay. They get a ferry. So what is a ferry? This is perhaps a new word for you. Well, here is a photograph. Okay. So this is a ferry. So it is a ship or a large boat on which um, passengers um, can travel from one place to another. And often they can also put their car on the ferry as well. Okay, so this is a ferry. Okay, so those are the answers to the questions. I will now give you the transcript to the listening exercise and you will listen to it one last time. So, th so there is the transcript and I'm going to play it for you now.
Residents of the islands of Islay and Jura in Scotland have been told they must wait a year to have an appointment with a dentist. This long wait is because there is only one part-time dentist for both islands. Previously there was also a full-time dentist but he retired a year ago. The remaining dentist cannot treat everybody and gives priority to children and people in pain. The National Health Service is struggling to recruit a new dentist because of the poor state of dental facilities. The dental practice is in a portable cabin in the hospital car park and patients wait for their appointments outside in their cars. To solve the problem, the National Health Service is considering moving the practice into the hospital building. Residents who don't want to wait a year for a checkup get a ferry to the town of Tarbert. Okay, so that is the end of the listening with the transcript. I hope that helped you. And that is the end of the lesson. Okay, so if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then this is the subscribe button. Um, here is my Twitter account if you want to follow me on Twitter. And here are some other lessons um, which you might be interested in. Okay, so you just need to click on the screen um, to go to these lessons. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English um, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.